Hi everyone, Cinder here. Welcome back to Dragon Quest XI. Alright, finally did it. <laughs> Here, Wings of Serendipity. Hey, a mini medal. Incredible, you've won every cup that the racetrack has to offer. You can now take part in all our races for free. It would not do to charge a champion now, would it? Oh yay, so if you want to go for other stuff. Windy Winnie Wonder. <laughs> A word for winning every event on offer at the racetrack in Galopolis. Cool, you get two Crimson Eye if you want. Alright. You see, 105.03 and I... By the... Thinnest thumbnail. <laughs> like, fingernail. Did I win? I don't even... You know, it was... I was right there with Silvando. So, from what I could find, the um, world record of this currently is um, 102.73, from what I could find. By the time this comes out, it's probably probably going to be lower than that. Um, to win, you have to be flawless, and it's not just hitting all the ramps kind of flawless. I do it once, it's free. A champion such as yourself does not need to pay to race. Yay! I'll give you an idea of what you're supposed to do. You'll find a better YouTube video of this than me. This was extremely difficult. Way harder than I thought it was going to be. Uh, because it really forces you to be flawless. First off, you need the boost at the beginning. And then you need to play this like a racing... Oh, well, I hit that. <laughs> I did that when I won, too, so... Uh... Don't hit that wall. <laughs> Already doing terrible now that I'm recording. And if Silvando hits you there, that's... You just get beat out anyway. But you want to hit two of those ramps, maybe all three. Grab this stamina and you want to hug the wall now that I have the NPCs out of the way. You jump here. Grab this stamina. We'll do that way more flawlessly. Okay, let's try again since I won't be able to... Since I won't be hit this time. The NPCs can get in your way. But you want to try to be on the left as much as possible to grab that. Don't stop drifting out like I did. You can skip that jump, the double, and just hit the two singles like that. You'll want to skip that stamina, grab this. And run for it. Like, it's really hard. I'll try it again. That was terrible. Of course, now that I'm recording. <laughs> I do garbage. Oh, like I said, it took me about a dozen tries to, to finally win. And it was barely. Plus, I get a mini medal every time I do this. But you don't want to hit every ramp. That's too slow. That's too slow for difficult. If you're having problems kind of seeing where to go, Hendrick is a good guy. What kind of route you want to take? You want to hit that. Stay to the left here. Grab some stamina. Because Hendrick's kind of showing you where you need to go. This is great. You can grab these two. Skip that ramp. And that's about the way you need to run it to have a shot. You gotta be somewhat close to that. There's Silvando. Don't grab that stamina. It's a trap. You need to hug the wall. And... Oh, I was just short. And I had a better time that time. I bumped into Silvando when I was racing. So I think that threw him off his, uh, his time a little bit. Kind of at the end. But there you go. <laughs> I didn't even win that time, and I had a better had a better time. So, 
you know, I kind of lucked out because I bumped into him while he was uh, during the end. I think that slowed him down just enough for me to clip by, clip by and win. Um, it was super close. I would have that recording, but Elgato crashed. Thanks, Elgato. Really upset about that. I lost the the win. I was gonna put it in to start this episode. Anyway, that's uh, roughly roughly how you need to race. You just need to be even a little more tight on the turns than I was. Um, it's all about drifting the least amount you need to and cutting the corners and staying as, as straight as you possibly can. You need every little bit of speed. But that's done. And I don't have to do that anymore. Well, I don't have to win anymore. I may still need to... Um, to do that, how many mini medals do I have? I guess we can just go see, right? Let's go to the academy. Then we'll head head to uh, Hoda. Yeah, I. That was rough. It was really, really tough. And you saw there that I was... ...104 and that might, you know, I was still just, just short of Solano. And, like I said, the, the record that I found was a whole two seconds faster than that. And you can find that on YouTube. Like, I... It's hard for me to give you tips. You just need to learn. Use what I did as a baseline. Take the the ramps that I took and try to cut out ramps if you can. That's the other big thing. You need the stamina. But if you take every ramp, it's too slow. Taking ramps is slower. You want to pick up the stamina on the on the track. So you can keep your keep your speed. There will be ramps you have to take. 22 mini medals. Here you go. Still short. I have to go get more mini medals. Five short. Do the race five more times. Glamour gear for go getters. Tiara's tremen tremendous mus. Tremendous tiaras, I guess. Gladder rags. Erdwin Shield. Nice. Erdwin Shield. And I am five short. Making things with metal kings. Nice. So, metal king gear. Better? Ooh, yes and no. Once worn by the Luminary of Legend, this nigh-on this nigh -on impenetrable protective platter can pr drive back darkness, fire, ice attacks, and also restore MP. Oh, 10 MP restored each turn. Now that, that is interesting. I lose the Magical Mini. That's not a big deal. I lose 4% block chance, which I don't like. The charms, whatever. I do get 10 more defense. The goddess shield reduces all elemental damage by 10%. The Erdwin shield, which only I can use, only, only does fire, ice, and dark, so it doesn't do wind. Uh, what other element have we seen? I guess wind, basically. Um, Earth, Earth attack, 10 MP per turn, I can upgrade it <laughs> to get more defense out of it, and one more block chance. Can I upgrade you? I sure can. A 
Let's go. I'm gonna use Erdwin Shield. 10 MP back return is nuts, and I love it. No wonder he was Luminary Legend with gear like this. Because <laughs> I could Giga Gash, which costs 32. And then next turn I get 10 of that back. It's almost a free Giga Gash every three turns. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> let's do that. <laughs> And I would like to get the the last thing. I'll I'll get the mini medals off screen. Don't worry. I'll go race five more times and and get those. You can't just start the race and quit. You actually have to finish the race. I don't need to be in town, though. What am I doing? give the Lumen Essence, and then we'll go try to force the Sword of Light. And hopefully we have everything. So we need to go to the hideout. We need the uh, secret, secret area. I believe. We can't jump down from here, can't I feel like we've done this before. I, I feel like I, I did this episodes ago, many episodes ago at this point, and we couldn't get down there. But I'm going to do it again anyway. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> sometimes I hate it on them, right? Rarely, but sometimes I do. <laughs> Normally I like it when I'm right. Okay. We can run the dungeon normally. Right. Back up the mountain. I do like that there's a way to get mini medals though. Yeah, it's really difficult to unlock, first of all, all this really additional side stuff to get the wish. But I do like that there is a way.
doesn't let me just jump down there. Why would it? That'd be too easy. Can't have that. Nerve of enemies, I don't care about you other than you cast, uh, that. away. Yeah, just run. I don't care about y'all. If I remember right, they don't even get that much. Ice damage and dark damage take reduced by 25%. Man, I like that. Just some attack and defense. I'll take off the, the dragon scale for now. Huh, you can be up that doesn't change it changes the stats, but doesn't change um like rare forms of monsters. Like even a higher percent chance or anything. Darn it. Fowler Jowler. In my way. Should I try to get insta kill him? Kazam! be true? Can that be Lumen Essence? Is salvation near? Hope is rekindled. The mirror can be made clear. My son can be saved. Will you hear my plea? Will you bring light back to us as sun pierces clouds? Yes. Words will not suffice. You have given us a chance. Light in the darkness. glows. At last its power wakens. Now to see the truth. Mira, with your light, rid us of the dragon's curse. Let my son be free! Breaks. 
Rain falls. Tears of joy well in my eyes. Pain washes away. How long I waited. The nights were never ending. I pined like the wolf. Mother, I am here. The time of sorrow over. The dragon no more. Our saviors, restorers of the mirror, heralds of the truth. My joy knows no bounds. United with my mother, dawn breaks on Heart's Hills. We owe you a debt. We await you in the shrine. Let us give thanks there. I was getting ready to zoom. <laughs> it's like, ah, oh, it took us there already. What about your heroics? They say you saved Ryu, the only son of the High Priestess. To hear good news like this in the midst of all the turmoil and trouble in the world is heartening indeed. Well, you had to do super optional stuff to get that. Salvation beckons. The monsters brought us despair, but now we have hope. Our leaders return. The road ahead becomes clear. Sun breaks through the clouds. Ryu is still alive, unharmed by the dragon's fire. Our hero returns! Hoto still has hope. Mistress Miko and her son. A new dawn arrives. New warmth fills the air. Perhaps the volcano stirs. Fire in its belly. The mountain spirit watches over all of us. Unending blessings. That's... A much better ending than the uh, other timeline. <laughs> much better. Glad we could fix this too. I owe you my life. Without you, I was condemned. My human form lost. The fear still grips me. The craving for human flesh. It sickens me so. But less of my will. I must show my gratitude, sincere as cold steel. A thousand fold katana, legendary blade, lightning fast and razor sharp. Serve these heroes well. Destiny awaits. Go forth and meet your fate, friend. Conquer the darkness. Legendary sword for the one thousand times. <laughs> It fits this place extremely well to have a thousand-fold katana. <laughs> Savior appears, the light gifted to the world, the luminary. There could be no doubt, I saw the fire in your eyes, pure as heaven's flame. I know who you are, the one to banish darkness as dawn does the night. Now you come to us, to seek Mount Uji's power, the world's sacred heart. Take my offering, the key to the place you seek, the volcano's heart. Oh, right, I needed the key to get in there. <laughs> I'm glad I did this. There was a poem, one told to us as children. Let me now recall. A lake of lava, the holy flame cast within, crucible reborn. The mountain secrets, even I do not know all. Wonder what sleeps there. What wonders sleep there? Go, Luminary. Go to the volcano's heart. Seek the crucible. Well, that's where we're going right now. Please have everything. <laughs> I 
Oh, right, with the thousand fold katana. Miracle sword. Oh, really? What's it for then? Shockingly sharp sword that can seriously eat into an enemy's defense with each and every strike. <gasps> for Eric! 8% chance of reducing enemy defense when attacking. It's a sword for him. Huh. Well, now that's interesting. Too bad I couldn't have a sword and a knife. What's your attack power? 142. Only one, 136, I can up it. But he gets more attack power than the knife. I guess it just has more. Oh! I know what it is. In the knife tree, there's like plus 35 to knives. But in the sword tree, which I went down to go get, um, to get this, plus 35, plus 25, plus 20, um, crit, plus 10, there's more pluses. That's a lot of attack power. I lose out on Cobra Strike and Victimizer, and that's the main thing I lose out on. knives. But I think it'd be cool for him to dual wield swords. What would be the second best sword he could wield? <laughs> that's the other question, right? Because he'd wield the Dragonfold Katana, and that's cool. But I don't have two. A Fizzle Foil? No, he could use the Nebula Sword. And have 10% chance of reducing enemy defense when attacking. <laughs> Is it worth losing the whole um, Persa Cutter thing that we've been doing? Poison and then light up the enemy for like 2k. Would I get more if he just um, swings normally after using... What's it called? Um, after using the body. And just maybe rely on crit chance. Hmm. Many questions. Because it'd be about plus 40 attack power for both hands. Which do swing at full power now. Kind of cool for him to use that thousand fold katana. Hmm. So I wouldn't have been able to get in. <laughs> I wouldn't have been able to get in here anyway. Got your light.
where the legendary sword can be forged. Use the or use the forging hammer. Work the Ori Halcom to make a new sword of light. Yes. Now I have another sword of light. Cutscene it again. Let's go. So we did it, huh? Indeed. A second sword of light. So, are you gonna give it a try or what? <laughs> a second sword of light? Sword of Light. Means I could technically dual wield swords of light. <laughs> a new symbol of hope for Adrea, whose blessed blade can banish all ills. And then of course we have the Super Sword of Light. Shining symbol for Adrea, whose blessed blade can do away with evil auras. But we're not done! Time to, to do this my way. Should save. Hopefully, I have the uh, the skill to do this. Actually. Might be really hard to forge. I might need more levels that way. You know, more levels to have more, more uh, smithing points. Supreme Sword of Light, the ultimate symbol of hope for Adria. Its blessed blade can do away with any and all evil effects. Sword of Light, we just forged. Sword of Kings, which we got the crystal for for that side quest. Two Crimson Knight, which we have. Two Uber Gates of Evolution, which we have. And two Spectralites, which we have, which we stole from the... Uh, you could steal from that dragon in the uh, Sage Trial. And we fought it somewhere else too. The noble dragon. Use part of use materials part of my invisible toys. Yes. Yeah, take the Sword of Kings from my inventory. This only has one set of stats, right? <laughs> nope! Well, I gotta do this correctly. <laughs> Holy I get well I could always reforge it, but Alright. <laughs> I really wanna see the the fancy the fancy thing. See how this goes. That wasn't much. I'm gonna boost the temperature. Don't move back a bit. <laughs> Now we use multi-bash because we get four hits for seven. 
It's just a really cheap way to get a, a bunch of hits. Don't do that. I, I may need more levels. Especially if it keeps doing that. Critical hit, but kind of at the wrong time. Um, yeah, I need more focus. <sighs> I'm moving the gauge back. Is Killed this. I'd have to have them both crit. <laughs> yeah, the the gauge moving back has completely screwed this up. Well, it was a good time to end the episode anyway. <laughs> um, I really wanted this for the luminary trial. I wanted to have the new sword. If I could get, uh, it wouldn't turn out very well, no joke. Maybe a sizzly puff twice. Then multi bash. Cause see, this is two hits for eight. And this is four hits for seven. Sure, it's random. But when you have so much to do anyway, that that's the way to go. I found that's the way to go. We need a Hephaestus strike to go off. It's basically like a uh, like a pep up that we can use, and it makes the next hit a critical. And if I did it right, we could we could get the sword done. So, I'll reset a few times. I think I went over this. If you reset when you um, make something, there's a five-minute cooldown. So, I'll give this a few shots because I really would love this to be plus three and really have the best. <laughs> the probably strongest weapon. If I had to take a guess. And we had to work really hard for it. I would really like to have that. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Till the next episode with hopefully the Supreme Sword of Light plus three. I'm Syndrome. Remember to shoot for the stars and take care everyone.